Hello. Where's the whiskey? Would you like a glass? Don't try and decide. I'll get you one. I like your play. Oh, I only hope I can do the part justice. I think your dialogue is beautiful. I really do. I love it. Then why the hell don't you just stand still and say it instead of wandering all over the stage? You're supposed to be looking for your soul, not an ashtray. Would you rather I didn't smoke during rehearsals? I'd rather you went up in flames than put out your cigarette in the middle of a monologue about birth. I'm sorry. You're absolutely right. It just right. makes me want to cancel the whole production. I won't do it again. Oh, excuse me. I'm sorry. I'll take the bottle. Are you leaving? Give me your glass. Are you nervous? Or is that a tremor? Why aren't you in Chicago with Jack? Why should I be? He has his things, I have mine. I work for one. He's a real mean son of a bitch, isn't he? What do you mean? Leaving you alone with your work. You think I mind? You should. It's the one thing we mustn't be left alone with. You may feel that way. I don't. Good. Don't let those village radicals keep you from being what you should be. What do you think I should be? The center of attention. Well, you must have been with some very competitive women. Let's just say possessive. Possessive? That's something else. It's a waste of time. I'm not. Neither is Jack, for that matter. Oh, yes. I know. You and Jack have your own thing. He has the freedom to do the things that he wants to, and so do I. And I think anyone who's afraid of that kind of freedom is really only afraid of his own emptiness. Are you making this up as you go on? Hmm? I'd like you to go. Why? Because I don't want to be patronized. I'm sorry if you don't believe in mutual independence and free love and respect. Don't give me a lot of parlor socialism that you learned in the village. If you were mine, I wouldn't share you with anybody or anything. It'd be just you and me. You'd be at the center of it all. You know, it would feel a lot more like love than being left alone with your work. I hope I haven't upset you. Not at all. I'm grateful. But you seem to be looking for something much more serious than what I had in mind. Than what you had in mind? Yes. You see... Jack and I are both perfectly capable of living with our beliefs. But I think someone as romantic as you would be destroyed by them. And I don't want that to happen. It would upset Jack too much. Sorry when you see me sliding down my cellar door.